good morning welcome to my youtube channel we are going to answer the question on statistics which came in 2018 paper 2 the question leads the frequency table below shows the distribution of marks obtained by learners on a test calculate the standard deviation calculate the standard deviation so first thing first we need to identify the data given so the data given here it is a grouped data so now for the grouped data we have to use the formulas to find the standard deviation which are so we'll start with the mean so mean equal to summation of fx over summation of frequency so this is the mean then for the standard deviation sd is calculated by square root of frequency times x to, to the power 2 over frequency summation of frequency minus x bar which is the mean squared so that's the formula we are required to use for standard deviation so now we have to come up with the table that will help us to light this data we have okay so now we have to come up with the table like i said earlier on so now our table will contain what we have here so we have uh, fx which is the product of frequency and midpoint so for x we have to look for the midpoint between 10 and 20 so there will be column for x here Then we need also column for frequency times midpoint, frequency times midpoint. We need also column for x squared. As you can see in the standard deviation formula, there is x squared. So we need column for x squared. We need also column for fx squared, fx squared. So column for fx squared is also needed. So this is our table. So after drawing the table, now we have to fill up each column. So the x column, to find the values, the values of the x column, we have to add 10 to 20, then we divide by 2, always. Because we are looking for the midpoint. So say midpoint equal to 10 plus 20 divided by 2, which is going to be 10 plus 20, it's 30. Divide by 2, which will give us 15. So this one will be 15. Then you go to the next row, which is the midpoint equal to 20 plus 30 over 2. So 20 plus 30 is 50 over 2 which is equal to 25 so this will be 25 so now since we have two rows we can look for the difference so the difference between 25 and 15 so difference between 25 and 15 will be equal to 10 upon knowing the difference 
We shall be adding now the difference to fill up the remaining numbers or rows. So we, shall, uh, we are going to add 10 to 25, which will give us 35 here. Then if we add 10 to 35, we are getting 45. We are getting 45. Then 10 plus uh, 45, 55. 10 plus 55 equal to 65. So now we are done with the, this column. We go to the next column where we are required to multiply the frequency to the midpoint. So 2 times 15, we are getting 30. Then 10 times 25, we are getting 250. So I'll be multiplying until we finish the entire column. So after you multiply the frequency to the midpoint, now we have to go to the next to the next column, and our next column is x squared. So we need to square the midpoint. We need to square the midpoint where it is saying 15 times 15, and this will give us 225. So 15 times 15, 225. Then we go to 25 times 25, which is 625. Then we go to 35 times 35, which is 1,225. So when we square 35, we are getting 1, 1,225. So when we square 45, we are getting 2,025. When we square 55, we are getting 3,025. When we square 65, we are getting 4,225. Just have to get your calculator. This is paper two question. You are allowed to use calculators. So now upon finishing answering the x squared column, we have to go to the last column where we are required to multiply the frequency to the x squared or to the midpoint squared. So now we'll be getting frequency times the x squared. So now 225 times 2, we are getting 450. Then 10 times is 625, this will be 6,250. Then 1,225 1, times 15, 1,225 times 15. We are getting 18,375. Okay, so if we multiply 15 to 1225, we are getting 18,375. If we multiply 23 to 2025, we are getting 46,575. If we multiply 30 to 3025, we are getting 90,750. If we multiply 10 to 4,225, we are getting 42,250. So now after filling up all the columns, now we have to find the summations. So we need the sum for frequency. So we have to add this column, all the numbers one by one. So say 
15 plus is 10, we are getting 25, 25 plus 2, we are getting 27, so it will be 27 plus 23 plus 30 plus 10, which is equal to 90, and this one it was given in the sentence. We need also the summation for fx quorum. So we shall say 30 plus 250 plus 525 plus 1035 plus 1650 plus 650 which is giving us 4140 then we need also the summation for the last column So we have 450 plus 6,250 plus 18,375 plus 46,575 plus 90,750 plus 42,250 which is giving us 204,650 So now we have all the summations or in other words we have corrected data so now we can find mean so x bar equal to summation of frequency times midpoint over summation of frequency so x bar equal to summation of frequency summation of frequency times midpoint we have uh, 4,140 over 90. So x bar will be equal to, so we have to divide, so 0, 0 cancels, which is going to be 414 divided by 9. So we are getting 46. So the X bar is equal to 46. So now after finding X bar, we need to answer now the question. So I'm going to remove some of the columns. So this one will be removed. We find now the standard deviation. So standard deviation equal to summation of fx squared over summation of frequency minus x bar squared. So now summation of fx squared we have uh, 204,650 over summation of frequency which is 90 
minus x bar we have four skis i mean 40 or six So now x bar squared is 46 squared over 1. So SD will be equal to. So now 0, 0 out, which is going to be 20,000. 465 over 9 minus so now 46 squared 46 times 46 we are getting 2116 over 1 so SD equal to, we have to look for the common denominator where 1 and 9 can go without even a remainder and the, this is 9. So now 9 into 9 is 1, 1 times the 20,465, it will be 20,465. Minus 1 into 9 is 9. 9 times 2116. So we are getting 19,044. standard deviation will be equal to so we have to subtract the two here so we we'll say 20,465 minus 19,044 so this is giving us 1,421 over nine so sd will be equal to so now we have to divide so 1421 divide by nine which is equal to 157.88 so what we have inside the square root it is called the variance this is the variance. So it will be SD equal to square lots of the variance. So now the square root of 157.88 which is giving us 12.56. Now we have to leave our answer to three significant figures. So standard deviation will be equal to 12.6. So this is our standard deviation, 12.6. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as to comment on my video, even to like my videos. Thank you.